Hey, welcome back, everybody. We have another TTM video today. We've got a bunch to get to, including this one's been forwarded from a different address. Got a really good feeling we know who it is from Baltimore, Maryland. And this has a yellow sticker forwarded from my previous address. Answers the question we had last Thursday. Yep, that's it. And there is the rookie. I was somewhat puzzled by the return we got from Ozzy last week. He's been not signing for about a year or more maybe and those these were the ones originally sent i was questioning the two that i received did i really send those yes sent these originally these are the 441 days that i mentioned last week the ones last week were just sent six months after that so about 220 days but yeah, I sent the rookie. I figured I sent the rookie. And we got this one back as well with the 89 score that I sent six months later. So these have still been out seven or eight months. But hey, very glad to get that rookie back. It looks great. Could be a slabable moment right off the bat. We talked about him last week. 1980s All-Decade Team, three-time Pro Bowl, College Football Hall of Famer, and Pro Football Hall of Famer. And a great, great VP for the Ravens as well. So this has actually been out 441. The one we got last week was out 227. Already done the math on that, knowing the forward from Baltimore was going to be Ozzy. This one's from Cleveland. We got two other ones from Cleveland as well. Cleveland, Ohio, up next. We get autographs TTM through the mail. All it stands for. It's some favorite athletes' cards and photographs like Mike Tomzak. First teams with the Bears. Had a long career. Next big stop was with the Steelers. 15 or 16 seasons. First six with the Bears. Seven with the Steelers. He's now a coach at Youngstown State. Volunteers up there at Youngstown State. Set an NFL record. Won his first 10 starts as a quarterback. That was a record. I don't know if that's been broken yet or not. Also won a Super Bowl ring. Super Bowl 20 with those Bears. Three weeks there. 20 days. 20 days, no fee, Mike Tomzak. Sweet. San Francisco, California. Next. San Fran. Bruce Bakhti. First time we've sent to him. Usually takes a while to return. These were pretty quick for him. 76, 78, and 81 Fleer. Shows him with those Seattle Mariners with that nice trident on the hat. Pretty cool. 73-year-old, played first base and then played a little outfield as well. And that's what it says right there on the 78 tops. Don't see that very often anymore. Bruce Bakke, pretty solid player. Played 12 seasons, 74 to 86. Missed the entire 83 season, just took it off. <laughs> and uh, first four with the Angels and then Mariners for five where he was an all-star in 79 for those Mariners. Hit exactly 100 career home runs. A solid career. And that's been out a while. Let's count them up. Okay, 40 days for Mr. Bakhti. 40 days. Bruce Bakhti. North Texas, Dallas, Texas. Romans 828. If you've seen the show Manifest, you've seen that plenty of times. Del Harris. Quick return. Saw these in a recent Mail Day video. Never sent to Dell Harris. Decided to get some cards. They've been rolling in. I sent them out three apiece. Hall of Fame 2022. Inscription on all three. That's pretty sweet. All things work for the good of those who trust the Lord are called according to his purpose. Romans 8 28. Dell Harris, he's 86. He doesn't seem like he should be that old. And Currently, uh, Vice President of the Texas Legends, which is a G-team affiliate of the Dallas Mavericks, coached for 48 years in his illustrious career, 65 to 2012, including NBA head coach of the uh, Houston Rockets, the Milwaukee Bucks, and of course the Los Angeles Lakers, where he was coach of the year in 95. And as he says, Hall of Fame 2022. 10 days... 10 days no fee for Del Harris. First time we sent to him. Tampa, St. Pete. 
Florida, Florida. Jim Perry. Thanks for the five. All money goes to a charity. Jim Perry, 1970 Cy Young inscription on that 65 tops. Another card I think we got from Mike the Card Dude. That large group of rookie and vintage cards we bought from Mike the Card Dude. I think that's where that came from. Of course, Gaylord's brother, Jim Perry. Had a really good career himself. Three times an All-Star. Cy Young in 70, as he said. He led the league in um, wins twice. He's 88 years old now, right-handed pitcher for 17 seasons. 215 total victories. And he's in the Twins Hall of Fame. And that was out for 20 days. 20 days, $5 donation, I guess you would call it. I sent that to North Carolina, but I got it back from Florida, Florida. So maybe he lives down there for the winter. Don't blame him at all for that. Next up, Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Dan Norman, all right. Signed those two Orozco rookie cards. And that's 83 tops there. Part-time player most of his life, 81 Fleer. And now with a holdout for Mike Scott, who does not sign through the mail, doesn't sign anywhere, really. That's pretty cool, though. Two out of three ain't bad. Meatloaf. Part-time player. I think we sent um, $15 with four cards. He wants a donation. It's either him or his brother, maybe both of them, are uh, pastors at their church in Arizona. So they use the money for their church. We'll put this right up front. And there's the 81 Fleer. Drafted by the Reds. He never did make the Reds. He was traded in the Tom Seaver trade. Sending the Norman to the Mets and Seaver to the Reds. 69 years old. He played outfield, mostly right field, five seasons. 77 at 80 for the Mets and then 82 with the Expos. And we sent him four cards, $15. 21, 24 days. And he likes a donation. Birmingham, Alabama. This is a thick envelope here. It's got to be Al Worthington. It is Al Worthington. Got him in a recent mail day. Told you I've never sent to him. It's about time. He's 94, almost 95 years old. Signed those 264 tops. And that Sharpie kind of blended together. Ooh. Wow. I have seen... Wow. Wow. I have to interpret that at some point. <laughs> Either it got wet or his Sharpie was blending together. There's 264 tops. Solid picture. Started off as a... I'll put these together. Started off as a starter and then ended up uh, by 59. He was a full t pretty much a full-time reliever. Ended up with 111 saves in his career, which was huge back then. And... So, yeah, autograph that. Autographs God's Simple Plan of Salvation. That's pretty cool. First ever head coach over at Liberty University, which is now um, pretty much a powerhouse baseball-wise. There's another live ink. I'll have to read that as well. Al Worthington never fails to impress with his autographs, and I'm happy I finally sent to him for the first time. Really quick return, eight, nine days. No fee required for Al Worthington. Next up, Macon, Georgia. What are you making in Georgia? Nine days. Oh, there's Bruce Benedict. He signed his rookie. He did. Glenn Hubbard. Put a little pause on his signings. Maybe he only signs during the season. I'm not sure. But I decided to send to Bruce Benedict first. Larry Wisenton is through Pass Pros, I believe, for 10 bucks. There's the 86 tops. Benedict was a pretty good player, 68-year-old catcher. Played 12 seasons, 78 to 89, all for those Atlanta Braves. And he was a two-time All-Star. And then after uh, his playing days, became a minor league manager in the Mets system and then a scout for the Cardinals. And I think he's uh, currently scouting for the White Sox and where he lives in the Atlanta area. 
but also serves as a D1, D2 uh, basketball official. And that's the same time as Worthington. Nine days for him. Cleveland, Ohio, last one. Cleveland. Two from Cleveland today, which is a rarity. There's Jim Jones on the team leader's card. Don't know if either one of those guys signed. Jim Clemens is now a guy who works for TNT, I think. We're a team leader in rebounds. And there he is. We've gotten this card back from him before. Pretty solid career. Look at those scoring averages. 74 years old. 6'11". Center and power forward. Played 10 NBA seasons. Six with the Cavs in the middle of his career. And won an NBA championship with the Showtime Lakers in 1980. Um, solid career overall. 12.5 points, 8.5 rebounds over his 10 years in the NBA. Two weeks, 14, 15, 16, 17 days, no fee for Jim Jones. So that's it. Tell me what you think. Nine returns today. Let me know down below what your favorite was. Hopefully we can see Mike Scott one of these days signing through the mail or private signing. Get those signed. Hubbard and Wissington. Nice. Glad to get Al Worthington back. We'll interpret this index card at some point. Tell me down below what your favorite was. Ozzy's rookie. Two Hall of Famers, Del Harris and Ozzy Newsome. Jim Perry over there to the left. Tell me what you think. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, we try to do this twice a week. Love the TTM game. And if you missed Monday's video, I'll leave a link to that right there. Thanks for being with me today. We will see you soon.